Hey, welcome back everyone. It is time for another Red Hot Covered Call video. Haven't been behind the mic in about two weeks. Last week I did my webinar, my poor man's covered call webinar for SMBU training and I'll tell you what, that was a fun experience. I had to put together an hour seminar on the poor man's covered call and based on all the feedback you've given me, you loved it. That absolutely jacks me up because it keeps me motivated, keeps me in the game to bring you timely and relevant covered Covered call video so it ups your game. Well, hey, look, we're back behind the mic. We are going to talk about a trade I just did. I'm going to break down an NVIDIA trade that I think you're going to learn something. And I'll tell you what, it is an awesome feeling when you read the chart and all of those indicators that I talk about all the time check off and we go ahead, we purchase the stock, we write the covered call and things are working out. I'll tell you what, many, many times I watch YouTube videos where folks get themselves in trouble where they buy a stock they may not know, they may not have done the their research, they get seduced by the high premiums and then they find themselves in a bad spot when the stock falls and they don't quite understand why it's falling or what they've gotten themselves into. For me, I always want to try to adhere to those covered call golden rules. Now, if you've been a part of my channel for the past three years, you know I don't always adhere to them. I mean, at some point, you have to go with your gut. You have to go with what you're feeling. But for the most part, we have to stick to those golden rules. And I'll tell you, it can help us steer clear of some choppy water sometime. Now look, what we're gonna do here today is we're gonna talk about that. I'm gonna show you some numbers because we're getting close to the end of the year. Now for me, I always set goals. I always set goals because I always wanna be overreaching, right? I don't wanna just willy nilly do this because then I lose motivation and one day turns into two, one week turns into two, and then next thing you know, I'm not even trading the stock market. So I'm missing opportunities. So I always love to put a goal out there. Now this year's goal is $55,000 and as you can see right now, I'm a little bit behind. Now I haven't updated this yet, but I'm about $9,000 behind where I wanted to be. Now with that said, I don't know about you, if you take an income generating strategy and we have success to where we're making over 20% cash on cash on that money or over $45,000 a year, I'll tell you what, I'll do it every time. So many times we try to swing trade, day trade, we try to buy off options and we find ourselves in bad spots. I love selling premium. Whether I'm writing cover calls or selling cash secure puts, I want to sell the risk. I want to use those cover call golden rules so I minimize the risk. With that said, we always have risk in everything we do. But at the end of the day, I love that I have found a trading strategy for which it's now a skill. I'm using that skill and I'm having success. I always tell you, if you put in your homework, you study, you watch the videos and you do it, man, it'll take one trade, two trades. Next thing you know, you're in the game and you get give yourself a great chance, a great chance to have success. So let's go ahead and get to this. If you've never been to my channel and you like what you're hearing, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel. It's right there and it's free. And hey, look, if you like this video today, bang that like button. It lets me know you like what I'm doing. Now, what we're doing is this. We're doing the reboot of the CTP free monthly newsletter. And I'll tell you what, for months, I've been wanting to come up with a format that absolutely blows everything else away. Look, I want to give you all the best possible experience you can. You know, there's so much, there's so much stuff on the internet where they want you to pay hundreds of dollars a month. Uh, sometimes it's thousands of dollars for packages of trading strategies and this, that, and the other. All I want to do is just provide you with free tools, give you some ideas, share with you my trades, maybe you learn something so you have success. I'll tell you what, the new free rebooted covered call newsletter is going to have this format right here where I break down some trades, we talk about them, so you see that very clear picture as to what I was thinking about, seeing the world through my eyes. A lot of people just want to see what an active trader sees. They, they don't want those three free secret trading patterns that most of the time are BS. What they want is just good, clear information. That's what I'm going to try to give you with my upgraded CTP dashboard and the weekly charts and the free monthly newsletter. 
Okay, so we're talking NVIDIA here. This is one of my most recent trades. We're not talking about the trade when I bought NVIDIA at 155 and it has now rocketed to 210 and I wrote that January 2020 covered call for 12 bucks. We're not talking that trade. We're talking about a trade I just did last week. And I'm gonna tell you why I did it because it broke some of the rules of my charting indicators. And I'm gonna show you why I decided to do this trade anyway. But one of the things I wanna show you is that NVIDIA has just announced earnings. AMD announced earnings as well. And this whole China trade war is not affecting the chip makers like they thought. So you'll hear Kramer and all the, all the TV gurus saying it is time to buy NVIDIA because NVIDIA is probably going back to all-time highs. Now, usually I don't buy into that, right? I'm not just gonna go willy-nilly buy, but I have owned NVIDIA many times over the past two years and I get it. I understand that they are in the sweet spot of all the chips companies want to buy, right? And I'll tell you, they have had a couple months where the stock has been seriously undervalued. And sure enough, with the recent news that the trade wars haven't hurt their business, AMD is blowing up, NVIDIA's earnings seem to be good. With this thing now being considered undervalued, this blows my mind because we are now rocketing to 210 and we might go higher. Now, I don't know if we go higher because I'm going to talk to you about this individual trade, but this is sort of the setup that I like to do. And checking if a stock is undervalued or overvalued. I love doing that check first because again, I'm always looking for that low entry purchase. For me right now, NVIDIA is doing a lot of things that I like and I'm going to show you in the next chart why I decided to buy some NVIDIA even at these higher prices and wrote a covered call. What I love to use is the Keltner channels when I'm looking to buy a stock and get a low entry purchase. And I'll be brief here. This midline is where I love to buy my stocks. Anything below the midline tells me this stock is trading in its range, but it's low on the range. And in fact, you can see with Nvidia here, it rallies and it, and it comes back and then it rallies again. So buying in this lower band of the, the Keltner channels gives me a lower entry purchase if we don't have any news, right? So that's what I love doing. And in fact, when it was back here, I bought NVIDIA when it was under the midline of the Keltner channel. And that was a phenomenal run. It then ran to 190 and now it's trading at 210. But again, that's last trade. We're talking this trade. Well, NVIDIA is above the Keltner channel mid. And in fact, it's more overbought than oversold. So if I buy NVIDIA here, I'm not getting a low entry purchase. But that doesn't mean I'm not getting great value. I want you to see, I don't know if you can see this, but see the orange line here? See the orange line here? This is the Bollinger Band. Now, I don't usually talk about the Bollinger Bands because I like the Keltner channels, but one of the characteristics of a Bollinger Band is this. When the Bollinger Bands are wide, okay, and you get this sweeping wide movement in the stock, you're getting huge swings up and huge swings down. When the Bollinger Bands start to get tight, and you see where the Bollinger Bands are getting tight here, they're getting narrow, very narrow. That usually means that the selling is coming out of it. There's not a lot of selling and there's not a lot of buying. So so this Bollinger Band is starting to tighten up. And when the Bollinger Band tightens up, you think of it as winding a rubber band up, right? And at some point, at some point, this thing's either going to pop out lower or pop out higher. And that's usually a telltale sign with the Bollinger Bands. Well, as you can see right now, that's where we're at. Look at how the Bollinger Bands have tightened up and now the stock is trading sideways with more good news than bad right now. I'm thinking there's less selling. There might not be a lot of buying, but there's less selling. And that could mean, that could mean we've reached new support. Now let me show you in the next chart what I mean by that. So again, I'm not a charting expert, right? And the one thing I'm looking for in my charts, I'm looking for that support line. And we've talked about this many times where when Wall Street sells them off and they bounce them off that support, that might be a good time to get involved. Now, with that said, Nvidia has rocketed off that 150 number and now see how it's trading sideways. Now here's the important thing to look at. As Nvidia broke this resistance line, the idea here is once it breaks resistance and it trades above it for about three days, that line could become the new support line. And where this was the support line, it's now up here. So looking at that, if that's your new support line right there, and it's consolidating here, right? Look at that consolidation. This thing without any bad news could drift higher from here. Very similar to what it did right here, 
to rally above here. Now, at this point, I'm thinking, you know, I would love to be in NVIDIA for another 100 shares. And that's exactly what I did. Last week, I bought 100 shares for 210.95, and I went ahead and wrote the 220 covered call strike price. I got paid $4.40. If my shares are taken away, I collect a total of 224X. That turns out to be six plus percent in a 30 day range, 30 day cash on cash, six plus percent. This is a $1,300 crumb. 100 shares and I'll tell you with this recent consolidation it's really making me feel like this may have been a good trade but look with anything we have risk and here's your risk here's your risk right here see that risk right there the stock has had this tremendous tremendous rally so this sucker could easily come back to that support line and that's in the 190s so I have to be prepared I have to understand what I'm getting myself into so this is what I try to do with the chart of the week I try to show you a chart talk about where the stock's at where it could be going look you're peeking over my shoulders seeing the world through my eyes now look I know one thing, I own NVIDIA at $210.95. I got paid $4.40 per share in my wallet. If NVIDIA falls, I'm gonna buy this option back like I always do for pennies on the dollar because I have no trading fees anymore. I'll own the shares and I'll look to write the next covered call. If the shares go higher and it goes above 220, well, hey, I've max profit, six plus percent, $1,300. Look, I could care less if it goes to 250. I've made my max profit. Remember, it's a mindset. We've made money. Take my shares, I love it. I'm using my skill, using my cash, printing machine. Hey, look, I hope you enjoyed this video and I want to say thank you for viewing. What I want you to do is share this video. Let others know we're talking the good word of the covered call. But before you go, I want to remind you that the free CTP newsletter, the covered call newsletter is going to be rebooted. And all you have to do is go to ctp-board.com, click free newsletter. And as you can see, all you have to do is give me your email. Look, I don't spam you and I definitely, definitely don't sell anybody's information. Look, you want to up your game I'm just looking to help you out telling you my story showing you my trades so maybe you learn something so I'm going to leave it right there look we have so much happening I'm getting so many requests to do the second part of the retirement anxiety video for which we're going to do next week but here's the twist we're going to do it with small ball accounts I know a lot of you out there are going into retirement without a lot of money you need to be able to generate income we're going to talk about how you could use small ball accounts and you could still use that money to generate some monthly income that's going to be vital in retirement look it's all about learning a skill that's what I try to show you I show you my trades we talk about them so maybe you learn something maybe you get comfortable with it so you too will get confident you will get comfortable and you will do it hey look if you like this video today bang that like button it lets me know you like what I'm doing and until next time may all your covered calls be profitable